If you're an Android fan like I am, then you know it's my favorite time of the month where we can talk about the latest update for Android 15 with Beta 3. Google just released it today, and at this point, our team here at 9to5Google has finished gathering all the changes, so real quick, let's go over everything new in this latest build of Android. Before we do though, if you know 9to5Google, then you know we love to give away some Android-themed wallpapers to celebrate the new beta and to show our appreciation to the Android community. We're giving away one light mode featuring the Android logo with a subtle hexagon pattern that you can find in the description. And once this video gets to 2,000 likes, we'll update the link, including a dark mode version as well. If you're a channel member, don't worry, check your inbox because we're also giving you some bonus wallpapers because we just appreciate y'all so much. There's an extra six for our tier one members and an extra 12 for those on tier two. There's no other way to say it, but thank you all so much for supporting the channel as we work hard to make the best possible Android content. And getting right into Android 15 Beta 3, let's start off with some of the new features first, then we can cover some more smaller items. The first major addition is some small improvements to the passkey sign-in experience. In previous versions of Android, using that passkey feature was always a two-step process where you had to confirm the account you were using first, then on the second screen, use your fingerprint for verification. Now in Android 15 Beta 3, Google has streamlined that process by displaying the account details directly on the sign-in screen, making it a one-tap process. On top of that, if you accidentally dismiss the page, passkey suggestions will now appear in Gboard's suggestion row and in drop-down menus. Another feature is the addition of a new screensaver option that will allow you to control smart home devices directly from your Pixel phone while charging or Pixel tablet while docked. This feature should let you see the status of your smart home devices at a quick glance while enabling users to dim the lights, adjust the thermostat, or lock a door connected to your Google Home network as quick examples. Believe it or not, that's pretty much it with the new headlining features, but there are a ton of tweaks and smaller changes that are good options to have as a Pixel user. First, there's a new option in the home screen settings to show the entire app name in two line items in the app drawer, as opposed to cutting off the app name in a single line. Additionally, the new color contrast feature introduced in Android 15 Beta 2 is now more easily accessible within the display options menu. There's also a new adaptive timeout toggle within the screen timeout portion of the settings menu that should automatically shut off the screen when the device is not in use. Finally, the option to turn off circle to search has been moved to the gesture navigation mode menu for quicker access. And although this next one is not really a feature, I have to mention animations have certainly been tweaked yet again. I feel like everyone says this after every single beta, but I truly do think Google is fine tuning the animations little by little as time goes on. I'm certainly not an expert, but something about the acceleration and the easing and out of these animations does feel more clean or maybe has more of a flow to them if that makes sense. Lastly, I did want to cover a handful of more minor UI changes that we want to at least mention. The screenshot preview, for example, got a bit of a refresh with a bubbly outline for the share and edit icons that are now neatly tucked away underneath the preview image. The previous Android 15 logo has seemed to disappear and is now replaced by a more ice cream-like shape, although they did remove the vanilla ice cream tagline in the version info page. Additionally, the Android 15 name now shows in the file storage tab where Android 14 was shown previously, and the authentication panel has shrunk down a little bit for a cleaner look. One more thing I forgot to mention, I am recording this way after the fact at this point, but if you go into Wallpaper and Style, and you tap on that wallpaper, you're brought to a new menu, which looks pretty great on the Pixel Fold, by the way, but if you tap on that wallpaper, you can readjust and reposition it which is pretty cool, if you ask me. On top of all of these visual changes, Beta 3 also brings a huge wave of general bug fixes and resolved issues. Not to mention, as a quick bonus, we are also on the June security patch, which just means that you're not running an out-of-date build if you choose to install the beta. So that's pretty much everything new. As I mentioned, these are just minor refinements building on top of Android 14, and this has been in line with the previous betas as well. If you remember, Beta 2 gave us the private space feature, app pairs for large screen devices, predict back animations turned on by default, plus a ton of minor UI changes. Beta 1 was also pretty similar, giving us most notably the ability to change the default wallet app, plus some privacy and security changes, and, as expected, minor UI adjustments. Basically, that's the trend I'm noticing with Android 15 as a whole. A few quality of life changes, some extra setting options, and 
UI refinements. Moving forward, it is worth noting Beta 3 is the first platform stability milestone according to the Android development blog. This means the core system behaviors and APIs are locked in and won't be changing, or in other words, app developers can start testing their apps for Android 15 compatibility and can start publishing their compatible apps to the Play Store ahead of full release. There's also a rough timeline that indicates we are most likely going to see a Beta 4 in July and possibly a Beta 5 in August that should be very close to the final build. There, we might see more features, but typically we don't get many new additions later in the beta phase based on previous releases. And lastly, the final release of Android 15 should happen sometime after August. Of course, Google hasn't announced anything official yet, but if I had to guess, it should be released in October alongside the Pixel 9 series like Google did with Android 14 and the Pixel 8. However, it is still possible Google does release in their typical time frame of August to September, but to me, it just makes sense to release release a major Android version alongside your new flagships. I think it's a big marketing boost. You can show off the new software and hardware features at the same time, and it's just exciting to have so much Android news in one day, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Before we get out of here, I think all Android enthusiasts are wondering if they should install the beta, and personally, I would say it is impossible to tell right now. I know that's disappointing, but I will say I've been on Android 15 beta 2 on my Pixel Fold, and it has been mostly stable. All the core functions and Google Apps seem to work fine. I haven't noticed any major bugs or loss of functionality besides Instagram and threads constantly crashing alongside some more battery drain than I'm personally expecting. Although, since Beta 3 has hit platform stability, I would say it's probably fine, but just be cautious, I warned you. And with that, my friends, this is everything you need to know about the Android 15 Beta 3 release. I know that was a lot, but leave a comment and let me know what you think of the new edition so far. I know some people, rightfully so, might be disappointed as it doesn't seem as big as previous Android versions, but call me old school, I appreciate a cleanup year every now and then. Not to mention, I think Google is also shipping a lot of their new features via Play Store updates instead of OS upgrades, so this might be what to to expect in the future anyways. Either way, let me know your thoughts. Myself and the Android community would love to have a discussion down below. Before I get out of here, huge shout out to all of our channel members on screen right now. To us at 9to5Google, your support means a lot as we work hard to deliver the best Android content we possibly can, and for that, we are super grateful. Thank you all so much for sticking with us on this journey to 300,000 subscribers and beyond, and don't forget to grab those wallpapers. With that said, I'm getting out of here, guys. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.